The high school football season is just around the corner, and before Southeast Arkansas teams face each other this season, they face each other in the same room or even across the same table. We're going to get our program started. Coaches and players gathered at Pine Bluff Country Club today for the Hootens football luncheon, all catching up, getting taught up, and gearing up for kickoff just six weeks away. Football season's here. We're all getting excited and, and to see everybody come together and, and rally around these players at, at all levels, but specifically at the high school level. It's really what our communities need right now, in my opinion. Teams in attendance were Dollarway, Dumas, McGee, Monticello, Pine Bluff, Watson Chapel, Star City, Whitehall, and Drew Central. And colleges came to support too, with Arkansas Monticello and Arkansas Pine Bluff showing up. Anytime you can have someone like this and have Marcus Elliott coming to speak, and you know, you mark it down every year to where this is kind of the start of football, kind of a media day type deal, and you know, it's fun. We weren't able to do this last year. It's always great to fellowship with, with guys that, that's done it, and uh, you can always network and learn. The camaraderie. Uh, you become a part of a, a family when you play at the high school football level and great, great, great players, great coaches are known to come out of uh, Southeast Arkansas. So for them to come back together and rally around each other before they become competitors is fun. Hey guys, thank you. The guest speaker for this event is Marcus Elliott, a former Razorback. I have a reverence for coaches. Elliott was a state champion Little Rock Central Tiger in the late 70s and an All Southwest Conference offensive lineman for Arkansas in the early 80s. Played there as a freshman uh, for Lou Holtz and then got a chance to finish off with uh, Coach Ken Hatfield. Both outstanding coaches, totally different. While I was able to play for the Razorbacks, and that was a, a dream of mine, I think the memories of being on a high school football team, we lost one game in three years. To be under the influence of great coaches, for me it was Bernie Cox, it was uh, Coach Clyde Horton, built uh, confidence in me and self-esteem that I probably didn't have before interacting with them. Nick Walters, Fox 16.